Hello, my name is Dale Powell, and I'm going to give you a brief introduction to McAfee Site Advisor. Uh, here we're going to browse to the Site Advisor site. I'm going to use Firefox. We'll just type in site advisor.com and there it is and right here is where you can actually click to download this software there is a free download here they also have a paid version if you want some more of the enhanced features I recommend saving it to your desktop we're actually going to skip this part I'm just going to assume that you already actually know how to download and install software so what we're really going to do here is actually show you the power of this nifty little tool. Uh, we'll actually search a, a keyword phrase here that I know is uh, very popular, especially with the young ones, free screensavers. And you can be sure there's going to be some, some bad sites McAfee Site Advisor will pick up. As you can see, I've already got McAfee Site Advisor installed in my computer. I'm using Windows 7. And right up here, uh, the first organic Google result. It's got links to 16 yellow downloads. Yellow's bad. Several green. Here's one. Here's a red one. It's got one red download link. Here's another one. Uh, AAAScreensavers.com. Wow, that one's got uh, 151 red downloads. Those are certainly bad. And as you can see peppered throughout here, there's more red and yellow. Now if you didn't have McAfee Site Advisor to actually give you this red, yellow, green light indication of uh, what the, reds, the websites are that are out there, you might just be clicking on one of these and infecting your computer as fast as you can download it. Anyways, uh, if you go and download SiteAdvisor.com, it's uh, fairly intuitive how to install it. I recommend you use it on your computer. If you already use a McAfee Internet Security product, you're probably already familiar with this already. But there are quite a few Norton users out there and, and some of the other popular antivirus products, and you might not ever have heard of it. So I hope you use this tool and keep your computer safe. And uh, we hope you enjoyed this brief little video, and we look forward to seeing you during our next one. And I think I'll close this little window that just popped up. Thank you, and good night.